as an Android application developer, building reliable application can be challenged. You want your app to work seamlessly in all devices and in all situations, but you cannot catch every error just by testing your code manually. And this is where unit testing comes into the picture. Unit testing automate the process of testing your code and catch errors early in the development phase. That means by this you can create reliable applications and also save your time in the long run. So hi everyone, this is Puneet Grover. Welcome to Coding with Puneet. Today we will discuss about unit testing and how can we implement that. So if you are a new to Android application development or an experienced person and wants to improve your testing skills, then this video is definitely for you. So here is the quick agenda. Firstly, we will discuss about what is unit testing. Second, we will discuss about a few annotations, for example, before, after, uh, test, etc. And then we will discuss about a few assertions. This is very important. For example, assert true, assert false, assert equals, assert that, etc. And then I will walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure of implementing unit testing in your Android project. So there is a lot to cover in this video. So let's get started. So our first question is what is unit testing? First of all, very first thing is what is the meaning of unit? Unit is individual piece of code. That means unit testing is a way to test individual piece of your code in Android application to see it works as expected or not. That means unit testing typically involves writing code to test specific functionality of your Android application. And this code is separate from your actual implementation and designed to run automatically to verify if your method or function works as intended or not. Overall, unit testing is a very important and crucial part of your Android application development. Now let's talk about the annotations before, after and test annotation. See, before annotation means if we want to do anything before each test case. That means if we want to create a new object, could be database connection, could be uh, network connection, could be anything. And after annotation means if we want to do anything after each test case run. For example, clean up any data, uh, clear the memory, could be anything. And now at the rate, test annotation. Test annotation is where we write the actual test case. Now let's see the steps to write your first JUnit test case. So I have already created a sample project for this one and have added JUnit test cases dependencies though it comes as a default one. See so if you can see here JUnit, Hamcrest, JUnit, these all are for JUnit test cases and Espresso is for the UI test cases. Now I have already created three more classes except the main activity which comes as a default. One is calculator which have add function which does the addition operation. And then we have array utils, which actually finds the largest number out of the number array. And then we have math utils, which actually finds the factorial of an integer. So this is the business logic. Now, how can I write unit test cases for that? See, this is very simple. What I have to do is, let's say I want to create test case for this add, just to verify if this function works as expected or not. So how can I do that? Just right click on add, go to generate. Here we have test, just click on that. See, we have JUnit 4. This is a testing library Android is using. And then we have class name. See, we have calculator. This is appended with test. And now, third important thing is, what is destination package? This is where our unit test cases will reside. And this is the JUnit test package where our unit test cases will be written. See, this is what I have explained you, the annotations before and after annotation. This is setup and this is tier top. Now for this class, calculator class, I want to write test case for add function. Just click on that and click OK. Perfect. Our calculation test class is ready. Now how can I write the add test case function? Okay, let's do that quickly. It is very, very simple. Now before that, if you remember, I told you about add the right test annotation. This is where we write our test cases. We can give any name we want. Let's say I want to give it name as add test. Okay, I can give any name I want. Now, I have to create calculator class first. Calculator dot add. I can pass any number. Now, this should give me as 11, right? This is my expectation. Now, how can I check that? This is where assertion or assert functions comes into the picture. So, now coming to the assertions here. 
we have so many assertion functions for example assert that assert equals assert not equals assert true and etc you just have seen the assert true function now what it does is it actually takes two values one is expected one is the actual one compares them if these two are equal then it pass the test case otherwise fail the test case similarly goes for the assert not equals it again takes two values matches them if it not equals then it returns true otherwise it returns false that means it sees if the conditions are met or not see my expected is 11 and let's see if the result returned is 11 or not if the result returned is 11 which is my expected value that means this test case will pass otherwise it will fail now it is very easy to run this test case just click on this icon and run that's it blazing high speed my test case has been passed so this is how you can write your first test case now let's change the value my expectation is 9 but it is returning me 11 in that case test case should fail just run that and see yes your test case has been failed because it was expecting 9 but the actual was 11 so this is how we can write our test cases let me correct it back now let's say i want to write test case for this function find largest number right click on that generate test array returns test find largest number and out perfect now let's say how can we do that now again same thing let's create array utils object let's give any integer array and pass on here so out of those integer arrays five should be the largest number correct let's assert that as well here i am using the assert equals if these both values are equal or not let's run this test case and see how it looks yes again it is passed if i pass as 4 and run the test case then it should fail because the largest one is 5 not the 4 and yes it got failed so this is how we can write our unit test cases so that's it guys this is how unit testing works in android application development if you want more insights on unit testing i have created one more video on unit testing where i have explained about the ham crash library in unit testing where all of the assertions matches and so many things comes into the picture and i would highly recommend to go through that video to get solid understanding on unit testing with that if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video take care bye bye